Are you tired of seeing gaming setups like this when you have something like it that? Sucks, so let me dude. solve your little problem for you. Head over to thegaminggrove.com for cheap and reliable presses like these ones and use code IDAMTNT at checkout for 40% off. But enough of that, let's just get straight into the video. What is up guys, it's Adnan Pace with Prediction, welcome back to another video and we're back with the FPL videos and this time I just decided to do a team review just see where I am right now I mean obviously I'm on my team but let's see how much points I got last week so right now it's about, what's the time, 9.20 so it's 20 minutes into the Burnley game, what's the score right now, so it's still nil nil hopefully they keep a clean sheet here so this is basically my team i still have diaz left to play hopefully he plays antonio didn't play but thankfully i have strucek in the bench uh, you'd expect a minus point but he managed to score a header and he was playing in midfield so i'm really happy so come on for antonio but i just need diaz to play because on the bench i have no points either Gundogan, he might not play. Sterling, captain, please get some points. Get more than Gundogan. That's my dream. Sterling scored two goals. Actually, one goal would do it, wouldn't it? Yeah. If Sterling just scores one goal, get more goals than Gundogan, so I'd want that. We have Fernandes, obviously, got a nine pointer. I wasn't really happy with that because a lot of people captained him. I'd rather have him blank. Luke Shaw, eight pointer, no clean sheet. Fantastic. Martinez, also 12. Saka deserved more, to be honest. He deserved the goal. There's not much to say about the points. I mean, I think I got a pretty decent 80 points. The average was 52. Um, I mean, I guess if Sterling, I just need... I, I think I have potential to hit 100 points this week. No joke, but now I think... I think the only way I'm going to hit 100 points, really... Before I really thought, but now I'm thinking about it. Like, Gundogan is probably not going to play. Diaz could not play, so I could only have Ben Mee and Sterling playing. And Sterling might not even play. He might be subbed on the bench. I don't know what Pep will do. <coughs> Sorry, <laughs> let's hope I don't get demonetized for that. So I don't know. I don't know about the pepper roulette. This is why I hate. I hate this pepper roulette thing because I've got Sterling captain. He only got an assist. Uh, but let's stick to the positive look. Let's look at next week gaming twenty five. How I'm planned, and this might surprise a lot of people if it can load. Yes. So basically. This is my team. You think it's a pretty decent team, but then you look two Leeds defenders at the back, and you might be like, Adan, what are you doing, you mug? Why are you playing two Leeds defenders at the back? Well, these two Leeds defenders aren't really defenders. They're both literally midfielders. I mean, Stuart Dallas literally can play any. He usually plays as a center mid slash cam. I mean, what did he play? He played as like as a. They play 4-5-1, so he played as like a left attacking cam, but then he switched to left back. But I think he'll continue left attacking cam. And Strucek, um, what's it called? Because Calvin Phillips is injured, um, he's moved to center mid. And he's played one game as a center mid and scored a goal, so why not? And a double up. But then you look at my bench, and you've got Diaz. And you're asking me again, Atnan, you mug, why have you got Diaz in the bench? Well, I could be smart and tell you I think Strujak and Dallas are going to get more points. I do, I'm not sh I do think they're going to get more points, but the main reason I haven't gone for Diaz is just I don't want to go <laughs> triple city against Arsenal. I just I, I can't I can't watch an Arsenal game with a triple up on the other side. So I, I, I'm going to risk Diaz for this. Is defender is easiest one, but watch Diaz score a header against Arsenal. Watch this is my luck. Watch him score a header. Clip this. Somebody clip this after Diaz scores a header against Arsenal. But, um, I mean, if Arsenal can shock Man City, I wouldn't mind that. Gundogan might not even play. Uh, but then he comes on for Diaz, isn't he? Yeah, so, I I'm fine. I'm fine resting Diaz, unless he scores a header, obviously. Because I've got double game with Leeds midfielders. I'm going to call them midfielders. And they get clean sheet points. I've got Luke Shaw, Martinez. I'm pretty confident about my team. Even though you see two Leeds defenders, which I call midfielders. Uh, Diaz on the bench I'm still confident the only thing I'm not confident about is my captain pick and this is what I was going to discuss uh, in this video basically I've already done my transfers I transferred Ben Mee for Dallas because basically I'm looking long term not only this double game week and I didn't want a Burnley defender long term and um, Leeds playing the blank game 26 so I don't Dallas as well he's good for his price and midfielder at 4.9 he's pretty good he's pretty good and I, I know you're saying, 
Again, Adnan, you mug. Why have you got two leads defenders? If you're thinking about long term, what? Well, basically, I'm not gonna have two leads defenders long term. Diaz is gonna probably play instead of Struchek. I'll probably play Dallas most of the time. Yeah, probably. But yeah, that's the thing. I'm I'm gonna talk about the thing I said before. I'm gonna talk about my captain pick this week. It's so hard. It's literally so hard. There's no way I'm gonna captain Gundogan or Sterling. I can't captain. I can As I said. I can't watch Arsenal go triple city with a triple with a city captain even though they might smash us 3 and I really can't so I'm kind of looking towards you know what I, I, I want I, something in me is telling me captain Dallas but I can't get myself to captain him because I don't know I can't captain a Leeds defender I mean a defender is weird but a Leeds one they barely keep clean sheets once he blacks in both games I, I really don't want a captain Dallas because he might score, but then leads. No, I don't know. It's such a tough decision. I want a captain Dallas, but then, uh, you know, I've got how many captain picks options I've got. So the captain picks I'm thinking about. I've got Fernandez, obviously Newcastle home. Shaw is a surprising one. He he's been in the attack in most games so far, and I think he's really getting a stacking. Potential. He's he's playing with confidence now, and I think he could really get some threat in that Newcastle game. Hopefully, a clean sheet. Um, my other captain pick is obviously Dallas, as I said, and my captain right now I've got for Salah, but I've only gone for him. But you know, I really want to change that captain pick because I can. F I I. <coughs> I don't know to be honest. I don't know because. The only reason I went for Salah because if uh, he always scores against Everton, if I'm not wrong, but Everton could come and like shock them one nil. Like uh, Liverpool haven't scored in Anfield once this year, if I'm not wrong, have they? No, I'm pretty sure they haven't scored. Oh, they scored once a penalty. That's it. But I'm also feel I'm also feeling a goal thriller game between this, these two sides. But obviously, I think everyone, I, I think most people are gonna captain Fernandez this week, and I don't really want to miss on the Fernandez points, but I can go for a differential. But it's so tough. I really think, if in my honest opinion, I think the captain pick this week is on between Bruno Fernandez, Mohamed Salah, and probably Patrick Bamford. I don't have him, obviously. I don't want to waste a transfer for that. And as I say, I'm looking to for the to the future. And who knows, Bamford might blank in both games, but. I don't think I'm brave enough to captain Stuart Dallas, so it's between Fernandez, Salah, and I, I, no, I'm not brave enough to captain Shaw as well. Um, so between Fernandez and Salah, I don't know, I don't know. Everton have been on poor form, so has Liverpool, but they just won the Champions League and Salah scored again. And oh, uh, you know what I hope in that Liverpool game? I hope it's just goals galore, like 4-3 Liverpool. That's exactly what I want. I don't want a boring 1-0 win to Everton or a boring 1-0 win to Liverpool. I don't want that. I'll be probably tuning in for this game, so I don't want that anyway as a neutral. But uh, I've been getting my captain pick so many... Like this year is probably my <laughs> the most year where I got my captain pick wrong. I've gotten it wrong so many times because... I don't think much about it. I just look at the fixture, a good player, and I just put it. So now I'm just trying to think about it. Ah, oh, it's a really tough one. I mean, let's look at his recent form. Even though Liverpool haven't been doing good, we'll look at his recent form fixtures. Uh, let's look from the top, obviously. Uh, where is it? Seven points against Leicester when they lost. When they lost four and against City, he got seven points. Brighton two points, but when they and the game before that, he got fifteen points. And then he didn't get any points until, oof, he had this big blank didn't he? Yep, he had this big blank from game week, 15 to 20, 21 he came back with 15 pointer. I'm pretty sure a lot of people kept him, I, I did to be honest. And then he got two sevens in his last two games, so he's on form, you know what I mean? But if you look at Bruno Fernandez's stats, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a completely different story. Let's take a look at these. Nine points in his last game against West Brom. Seven points against Everton. Seventeen against Southampton. Three, two, he blanked there. Five points, like... Seventeen, seventeen, he's got... One, two, three... Three times this Premier League season, Bruno Fernandes hits a 17-pointer. Who says against a poor Newcastle side? So, I mean, maybe some people are saying Newcastle are better now. They could kind of test United. But United if have been thrashing uh, Newcastle lately. 
Ooh, it's so tough to call, but the thing is also United drew 1-1 against West Brom the other day. Who says uh, Newcastle can't come here and shock them? I mean, Newcastle's form at Old Trafford has been poor lately. I'm sure they haven't won in like six visits or something. Maybe even more, I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean, maybe somebody, somebody watching this video now is screaming to me to Captain Sterling and Gundogan, but there's no way I'm doing that. There's no way I'm doing that, is there? I was also thinking another thing. Let's let's go away from the captain. It'll just come to me. Uh, another thing I was thinking is that I could maybe transfer Saka out for Rafinha. Negative four, because Rafinha hasn't blacked his last five years. A double game week. But I, I, I don't know why, but in my opinion, I think you, people who don't support any Premier League club usually do better in fantasy because, like me, I want to have an Arsenal player in my team. There was a point where I had triple Arsenal. I had Aubameyang, Hector, Bellerin and Willian. <laughs> that explains why my season has gone so wrong. <laughs> like my overall, overall rank is 1 million. <laughs> Let's not look at that. Let's not look at that. So, But I think Saka is a good option anyway. You know, Maybe this game with Rafinha is obviously the better option. He is on paper. I mean, I mean my hope for that game, Arsenal versus um city i know we're we're gonna lose i'm sure we're gonna lose i know we don't have enough quality in our squad to beat a team like city but the thing i want to see from our side is just put up a fight just put up a fight it's simple we go away 2-1 losses we take so many positives from the game we're happy going out we're not pissed off i don't want a three i don't want to see a three nil four nil thrashing i don't want that i really don't and it would be nice if we could um, what's it called? Lose 2 1, Saka to get a goal, Diaz's is clean sheet is ruined, Saka gets me FPL points. That's what I want. This game week, I'm really looking for us. The thing that I'm looking for is to get my captain pick right, Bamford to blank, and also to score against City. That's basically wrong because I'm pretty sure people have double up City in defense, maybe even triple. I mean, not sure. I haven't seen really triples. I've seen John Stones and Cancelos a lot, John Stones and Diaz a lot. Diaz and Cancelo, seen loads of them. Back to the captain thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so tough, man. You know what? This might seem like a very stupid answer. Wait. Wait, did barely score yet? I just want to check. Still Nindel? Yep. Still Nindel. Okay, also I've got Everton City playing, hopefully Diaz plays, but I'm a go. You know what? I'm gonna just trust my own gut. It might sound so stupid, but the only reason I'm going for Salah instead of Fernandez is because I'm gonna be watching the Liverpool game and not the United one. You know, I know it might sound so stupid, but at least I get to watch it and see. Basically, it might sound like dumb but like what where i went wrong why should i have captained him instead of like captaining fernandez i i just haven't seen the game after the game i see him blank and i'm just pissed off like i'd rather watch the game with my captain in it if you know what i mean and i'm definitely watching that i might even i mean i don't think i'll watch this uh man united i maybe might watch like the first half an hour but i'm sh for sure watching this game so i'm gonna go for so I have captain it's just because i'm watching the game it really is that it's just because of that and i'm sure this week we're gonna get loads and loads of fernandez captains i'm pretty sure every single person in my mini league is gonna uh captain bruno fernandez but um yeah that's the end of my I guess I'm, g I'm gonna change it if I keep talking, but that's the end of my video. If you guys enjoyed that video, please hit that subscribe button. I've been talking <laughs> a lot. I'm, I'm not sure how long this video is, to be honest, but I can't decide. You know, I'm gonna stop looking at my FPL team. I swear I'm gonna literally change to Fernandez any second. I really don't want to change to Fernandez. Um, yeah, but that, that's the end of my video. I'd not play to predict out. Uh, okay, guys, I can't really choose my captain choice. This is gonna drive me literally insane. So please comment down any name Bruno Fernandez or Mohamed Salah. Even though one person comments down any of these names, they're my captain because I don't want to live with this guilt. So um, basically, if you um, comment down something wrong, a wrong captain choice, it's your fault. You're gonna live with the guilt that I'm gonna stain the 1 million rank this year and I don't want that. So please, I really can't decide. I really can't decide. Just comment any name Salah or Bruno Fernandez. I'll captain one of them. Uh, but yeah, that's the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And that place magic out.